and Ben. I'm the project manager for the ENCODE Data Coordination Center, or DCC. In a nutshell, the job of the DCC is to collect and validate data files and metadata from over 26 member labs and put them into a web portal. Um, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about uh, two pieces of software that are very closely related, ENCODED and Snowvault. So ENCODED is just the name of the software that we use to, to store the metadata and the, and the data files, and Snowvault is the generic object database we built sort of ENCODED on top of. So many of you I'm sure have created web database applications before. It's not, this, ours isn't particularly different. Um, but we did have sort of some unique challenges starting this project. Um, we took over the ENCODE DCC in, in 2012, um, and the project was already underway. So we knew we needed to model certain areas of uh, genomics data. So for example, experiments, am I pointing? No, it's fine. Experiments, libraries, files, biosamples, different types of biosamples. We handle uh, cell lines, primary cells, immortalized cells, tissue slices. Um, but it, we weren't actually sure what all the fields we would actually need to carry. We wouldn't know which fields were gonna be mandatory, which were gonna be optional. We weren't even sure for cases where we wanted to extract metadata from the submitting labs, whether or not um, they would be willing or able to give us that data. So what we really needed was a data model that was both uh, validatable and maintainable, but also um, uh, flexible and easy to change. So um, Lawrence, who's the architect of this project, uh, convinced us that it was more natural to use an object or database or document store as sort of the base, the base data entity. But we were gonna use JSON schema and JSON LD to provide some semblance of, of what I'm, relationality to the system. Um, so the JSON schemas provide uh, uh, templates and validation for the users who are submitting data to us. And JSON LD is used to sort of normalize related objects. So you can normalize the users or the submit or the submitting labs as objects, but you may have biosamples that are shared between experiments. Uh, we can create data sets where files are shared between them using, using JSON LD. Uh, the software stack here is sort of shown on the right. Um, the top is sort of the UI and the PPI, and I went back too far there. Uh, bottom is the, the back end. The object store is just implemented pretty simply in Postgres using po uh, Postgres's JSON, native JSON data type. It's wrapped, the, the web application is wrapped in an uh, open source framework called Pyramid, which handles all the requests and the, the, the application configuration. Um, all the get requests are routed through Elasticsearch uh, because Elasticsearch is really efficient at fetching, searching, and faceting the JSON objects that we have. Um, and of course, we sort of separate the user, the user interface and the back and the API in the usual way by having the, the React.js um, user interface work on the other one. So I'm gonna quickly cut to the critical thing, the coolest part. Um, we embed the linked data uh, in different frames in the object. So um, if you can imagine a sort of set of objects as an experiment with a bunch of linked objects associated with it, um, whenever we uh, receive a new object, we actually index it with all its linked, with parts or whole of uh, linked objects associated with it together. Um, and this is all indexed on the fly in Elasticsearch whenever anything changed. Um, JSON schema if you've, doesn't really validate across object types or across linked data. So we wrote an, uh, an auditing system where basically every little, each object that gets input gets a little bit of Python run on it and it gets decorated with little errors and warnings in case there are discrepancies between the metadata. Because it's in JSON LD, you can just export it as RDF and put it in a Sparkle store. Um, this is the ENCO DCC team. Uh, PI is Mike Cherry. Uh, Cricket Sloan is the, the data wrangler manager. Uh, most of this work was done by uh, Lawrence and Nikhil Patachuri, and we we're funded by NHGRI. Um, just quickly in terms of open source, I think the critical thing to open source is that we actually all share the code and, and actually act on it. Um, it's not enough just for me to distribute my free software to you. I need people to, who are using it to actually contribute. So please contribute. If you want to view this site in action, you can use encodeproject.org. ClinGen was a project, it is a project in Mike Cherry's lab, which uses an earlier fork of encoded. Um, and then we're also working with 40 nucleome in the uh, a t type two database, diabetes 
um, genomics database who are who are working on different forks of um, or adopting Snow Vault or Encoded.